Do not run from suffering. Do not run from suffering. If there's anything we can learn as humans, especially as Catholics, as Christians, is to understand the value of suffering, to understand and not only will we benefit in the next life for suffering in this life, but we will understand what Jesus says about it, that if we don't, there's a problem. In Matthew 8, Jesus says, deny yourself. Deny yourself. Deny yourself what, right? Deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. So deny yourself your desire for a perfect marriage or good marriage. Deny yourself your desires for having children and your 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 um, uh, infertile. Deny yourself uh, that relationship with your child. Deny yourself whatever it is that you're wishing for. Deny yourself and say, Lord, I'm going to pick up my cross. And I'm going to follow you. Of course, they always talk about marriage in terms of how many people say, I deserve to be happy. And thus they run. They drop that cross and then they go find someone else that makes them happy, but they forget. Well, first of all, just put the sin aside. Any second marriage while your first spouse is alive is adultery it, and, and you are destined for eternal hell. But Jesus says, and 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 this is so much more powerful to me that adds on to this. In Matthew um, 8, I gotta make sure I'm in the right place here. Is it 10? Ah, I'm already forgetting. Yeah, Matthew 10, 30. Guys, I was all queued up here. <laughs> Matthew 10, 37. Whoever loves father or mother more than me, it's not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those are some pretty clear words, some pretty powerful words. And yet we are living in a world here. I'm going to try to keep this video short. We are living in a world that tells us the opposite. We are living in a world that whenever difficulty or strife comes, you got friends and family saying, run from it. You deserve to be happy. No, you deserve to burn in hell. We are all sinners saved by grace alone. You deserve hell. So do I. So our friends were saying you deserve to be happy. We need to fill ourselves with the truth of God to be able to say, no, I don't. But the value, the value in clinging to the cross, the value in suffering, so many. Lord, I give this suffering for the redemption of so-and-so soul. Lord, I give this suffering for my past sins. Um, Lord, I give this suffering to you to do whatever you wish to do with it save souls, give it to my children, to this lost person. Jesus, for his holy and mysterious ways, values your willingness to suffer for him, for others. So when we run from our crosses, we're losing all the value that we can gain from that. But then we're not worthy of him. What does that mean? Does that mean he's going to look at me and say, you ran from your suffering, get away from me? I think the part that a lot of us forget and we don't want to pay attention to, if you love your mom or dad more than God, he's like, look, I, I, let me try it this way. You don't want to love your daughters or your spouses, or your sons more than you love Christ either. And I think of a time I was estranged from one of my children. And the Lord took me on a, a years-long journey. And in the end, as he was shoring me up with wisdom and knowledge, in the end, he took me to a very dark place. And he said, if you never reconcile with your daughter, will you still stick with me? Will you still choose me? I didn't know, as many of you don't know, God knows how we're going to answer, but God allows us to get to that dark place so that we can make 
that decision ourselves. So we can make a decision to say, you know what, Lord, I love my children. But if I have to pick between them or you, I pick you. For some of us, that means we will never see our children again. Maybe they're on drugs. Maybe they've run away. Maybe maybe they just are lying about you. Maybe they just don't like you. Maybe your parents, who you wish you had the love of a mom or a dad, I've worked with those clients. I'm like, I just want my mom to love me. And I try to do this, and I try to do that, and I told her I did this, and I told my dad I did that. And I never seem to get their approval. And I just say to them, be willing to lose that and say, you know what, if I never get their approval, it's okay. Because I'm going to choose God over them while still honoring them. That's for another video. But guys, I want you to ponder suffering. I want you to think about what cross you are carrying right now. It is painful. But I ask you to consider, what have you done? Have you tried to run from that cross or have you tried to embrace that cross? Look, this isn't saying, oh, I'm in an abusive marriage. I want the abuse to continue. No, but what it's saying is, Lord, heal my abusive spouse. Heal it. But if I have to continue in this marriage, which, by the way, does not mean staying in the same house as an abusive person, but you're living in Austin, Texas, and he's living in Nebraska, you're still married. That's a cross. Lord, if I still have to be married to this abuser, but be apart, that's painful because I'm doing this on my own. But I choose to carry that cross instead of dropping it down. The only day, Lord, I plan to drop my cross is the day you call me into my eternity. And I put that cross down at your feet, at the foot of the cross, for once and for all. Because on that day, Lord, I look forward to you saying to me, well done. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You held that cross, and I know how heavy it was. So, read your Bible. Ponder Matthew 10, 37, 38, and 39. Ask the Lord if he can help you carry your cross and not run from your suffering. And if you find this difficult and you need help, give me a, a ring. Communicate with me, christine at breakfastwithbacon.com. I'll journey that with you and I'll help you. May God bless you. I'm Dr. Christine Bacon. Thanks for watching Breakfast with Bacon. And as always, remember to live your life sunny side up.